going to take a look at how can we remove this green screen on Premiere and then on After Effects. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by pressing the subscribe button and the notification icon below. We upload videos every week. Let's see, uh, so I already applied some filters. This is how she originally, the, the footage originally looked. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. See, there we go. So, under Effect View, and we are on Premiere. We take a look at how can we remove this green screen on Premiere and then on After Effects. So, let's take a look at Video Effect and then Key. We're gonna go with Color Key. And we can either go to with uh, by Drag, clicking and drag and drop, or search it here, and then double click. See, it's already applied to the footage, so you have to click on it. So below it, I have the graphic, so we can see the difference when we apply. Um, so now that we have the select the right file, we have the color key here, we can click here and then select the green. We already have the, the, the green selected and let's take a look at the color tolerance. And this is like magic, I love the visual effects. And you can see that the green screen disappeared very easily, but you have to be careful because there's a one point here where our models start to disappear. So you don't want to go that far. There are other tools and other things that we can do. I think that's about right. Let's see, so if you take a look at this, it's like the silhouette of our model right here. I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit for us. I think that's a bit too much. Let's just put it like this. Um, we can add some feather on the edges so it looks more natural. I do like another filter here called Ultra Key. The Ultra Key we can add it as well. With the Ultra Key, it can help you make this green screen much better. Let's see under Matte Cleanup Choke. That's exactly what it does. Let's see how it removes the edges and kind of the color so you can play around a little bit and just drag it until you think it's fine you can then again soften the edges a little bit more to make it more realistic And the contrast will help you sharpen the edges as well. Let's just give it a 50. We have a pretty decent um, chroma key already installed on the, our model just by hitting spacebar or here or click here to just play the, the clip. And see how it looks in motion. That's perfect. So let's just save the file. Now, that's on Premiere. We use, just to wrap things up, we use Color Key and Ultra Key. Let's go back now to After Effects. Let's, let's bring the file 
to the project window and we have the green screen here let's create a composite and now on under now after effects have has different views so under um, effects we're going to search for color key color key actually and you can do the same and it's very similar so we already have that color let's see how the color tolerance can help us remove all the green and we have as you can see the same issue but no problem we have other options here let's zoom in we have other options let's add it to about four let's add some feather it's a little bit too much maybe you don't want it like that Well, that's how the color key looks like. Let's just remove the color key and now let's search for key light. There we go, key light 1.2. Let's do the same here on screen color. And uh, we have, this is a pretty good result. Let's put something on the background here. Let's create new solid. Let's just, just put it on the back really here so we can see. Hmm. Interesting. So this is the tricky part. But as you can see, the key light works much better than the color key. Let's take a look at the color key really quick. Hmm. This one was almost automatic, right? But as you can see, it, key light is more certain because uh, it actually has more information. So it keeps more information from the original file. And you can always go here and play a little bit more with uh, the options that we have. Let's make sure that the color key is deactivated. So just by coming here, you can play a little bit more with the options, as, as you can see. Let's put a five. And you can make the mask shrink or grow there's a lot of options and this this filter is very powerful very powerful you can do really great visual effects with this and you can play around um, let's take a look at the silhouette alpha let's, let's just Hmm. And we can play around with uh, all of these uh, other options that we have. But so far, this looks pretty decent, pretty solid for what we're trying to achieve here. It's just to give you the differences and the right uh, filters. So let's wrap After Effects up with we applied color key and the key light. Key light seems like a more a stronger version of the key. So there you have it. Um, to wrap, wrap things up, we have color key or key light. And then under Premiere, we have color key and ultra key. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope to see you next time.